I know, buddy. And I miss him too. At the top of our finale, really it's ha having to live with himself for the first time, which we haven't really seen. And life's not very good for him. There's something missing. He's having to deal with the guilt that he couldn't protect Trudy, couldn't protect Leonard, and everything went south. There is violence and there is action-packed stuff, but there's also the aftermath of that and how people deal with that. And that's a lot of what this episode is about. Now, baby! It's a bad, bloody, rough finale. Angel had an arrow through the neck, and she's just coming at them like something out of Wagner's The Ring cycle. She's kind of invincible. These guys are much stronger together than they are apart. It's really two guys that have each other's backs. Soldier's not thinking about his mortality in any way. He's still goading Hap and Leonard. He flips around and starts shooting at a van that's coming. Because it's all a game. He doesn't want to recognize that his time is up. Hap, I think, doesn't pull the trigger because he's better than that. You don't take people's lives, however bad they are, because it makes you a better person not to do that. Oh. I stopped by to ask you for a favor. Yeah? At the end of our season finale, Hap and Leonard are reunited. This time, Leonard really needs Hap because Uncle Chester's dead. By the very end of the episode, we make a rather grisly discovery ourselves. Underneath the floorboard, there's something very dark waiting for them next season. Hopefully, if you wonder, who the hell is Chester? This guy has his own, literally, skeletons in the closet. That's going to be something that kicks off Leonard's discovery of his family and also himself. He ever throw anything out? Just me.